You might see when you're working problems, a couple of sets of wording that are a little interesting. Under acidic conditions, under basic conditions. Well, what do they mean by that? Here we have a reduction half reaction for oxygen gas. We can see that it's a reduction because this started out as elemental oxygen, which would have a, 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 an oxidation number of zero. Over here, the oxygen is in a compound and would be a, given an oxidation number of negative two. So it went from a zero to a negative two. It's a, it's a reduction, half reaction, for oxygen gas under acidic conditions. What do you mean acidic? Oh, there it is. When we say under acidic conditions or under basic conditions, we're going to be talking about the old Arrhenius definition where H plus was acidic and OH minus was basic. So when you find either of those within the equation, then you're going to say whether it's acidic conditions or basic conditions. So this is the one for acidic conditions. And if you went and you looked in Appendix 6, you would find another reduction half reaction for oxygen gas under basic conditions, but let's just do that ourselves. <clears throat> it turns out that I can just take the one that I already have that is under acidic conditions, and I can convert it to be under basic conditions. Now, how would I do that? Well, I just got through telling you that Arrhenius definition is what we're going to deal with. So if I wanted to be under basic conditions, what I should do is I should get rid of all the acid. And how will I do that? By neutralizing with, with OH minus. So I will add to both sides because if I'm adding it here, it's happening to both sides because I poured it into the same place, right? So here they are, they've gotten added in and then look what happens those are going to combine to form water. So this turns into O2 gas and four water molecules and four electrons. Over here, we still have two waters and now we have four OH minuses that are aqueous. Oh, I can do some cancellation. All of this will cancel out. This four is gonna become a two. And so I should rewrite this in this manner. And this would be considered under basic conditions because what I have left is OH minus, just like Arrhenius would say was basic. And you'll see this if you go look in that appendix six, you will see the same equation. Number one, I want to write a net ionic equation describing the oxidation of nitrite, nitrite to nitrate by oxygen in a basic solution. Okay. Well, they want us to, well, look, they're telling us it's an oxidation, right? So let's do the oxidation half reaction. I'm going to start with the nitrite ion, and I want to end up with the nitrate ion. Hmm. Well, I can see that I have a single N on both sides, but I don't have the right number of O's. And I am going to demonstrate this for the first time, but I'll demonstrate it again, a little more detail. But what we do is we start with anything that's not an O or an H. And we say, are they balanced? Well, the only thing here was an N and it is already balanced. Now we look at the O's. That's the next thing we do. Look, there's three and there's only two. Where can I get some more oxygen? In this case, because we're always doing this in aqueous solutions, we're going to turn to water I need one more oxygen. So if I add a water molecule, I will have the right number of oxygens. Wonderful. But I just introduced hydrogen. Well, what can I do about that? 
aqueous solution. So I am allowed to say, hey, I need two protons because those have hydrogen. You know, that's what they are. They're naked hydrogen. Okay, great. And then the third step then would be recognizing the charges. There's a single minus here. This is a minus and two pluses. Oh, the only thing I'm allowed to use to deal with this is electrons. So I'm going to have to put some electrons in here to balance the charges. This is our oxidation half reaction. How do I know it was oxidation? Well, the informal way is to say, well, it had two oxygens and now it's got three. So it definitely got oxidized in the original sense of the word. But I can also look at the numbers if I am trying to look at this, NO2 minus, I don't know the oxidation state of the nitrogen. That's what I'm wondering what it is. But I do know that there are two oxygens. An oxygen in a compound is almost always a negative two. And then I also know that overall, it should have a single minus charge. So I'm sitting here going, I need my number and it's my, that number minus four equals negative one. Oh. So my oxidation state of nitrogen over here is a plus three. What about over here? Well, we do the same thing. We say NO3 minus. We don't know what the oxidation state is for N, but I do know that there are three oxygens and they like to be negative twos. And I know that overall it should be a negative one. So I'm looking at question mark, minus six equals negative one. And I, realize that must be that the nitrogen is in a plus five oxidation state. It went up, so that's an oxidation. Okay, it all fits together. They said a net ionic equation describing the oxidation of nitrite to nitrate by oxygen. So I'm going to need to do a reduction half reaction for the oxygen that I'm going to use. Well, it started by being O2. What's it going to end up being? Well, they're going to be in this, essentially. So, I mean, they're going to have to end up as their negative ion. Okay, well, if it needs to be a negative ion, so be it. This, well, as an element, oxidation states is zero. So, how would I get those neg? Whoa, wait, wait, there's two of them. Oh. Let's start with that. We better get the number right first. Okay, now, how is it going to get from a zero to a negative two? Well, it's going to have to be adding electrons to do that. So how many do I need? Well, two times two. I'm going to need four of them. Okay, so, wow, that one was fast. I didn't have anything besides oxygen. To balance the oxygen, all I had to do was this. There was no hydrogen. And then the only thing I had to do was deal with the, with the electrons. Okay. So this is my reduction half reaction. And it's, I've already explained what the oxidation states are, so it's fine. Let me just add these two together then. Oh, wait. I can't quite add them together the way they are. Because this has four electrons and this has only two. And if I don't balance out the electrons, then I'm gonna have electricity in my, my water, and no, that's just not true. So I'm going to have to make sure that the number of electrons matches on the left side and the right side. There's a four, that's a two. If I just double this, that should take care of that. So let me double that whole equation, and I'm gonna be really careful to make sure I double every single thing because I have a very bad habit of forgetting to double something as I'm going along and just randomly one of these will not end up being doubled and then I will be very unhappy. There we go, I'm double checking myself. Two, four, two, two, two. Okay, good. I will add these together. When I add them together, I can see that the first thing that's gonna happen is the electrons are gonna cancel. Good, that was what I was setting it up to do, right? I wanted that to happen. So I write this down then, the nitrite ion and oxygen as a gas and water as a liquid 
will become nitrate ion in solution. And, oh, wait a minute. What happens when oxygen with a minus two meets protons? You know what? That's going to turn into water, isn't it? I just got to make sure I make the right amount of water. Yeah, that would be two water molecules, right? Yeah, four hydrogens and two oxygens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Oh, look. Now that I've made those into water, it cancels on both sides. So overall, I come up with this net ionic equation which probably makes you wonder why don't I just do that to begin with, because I could have. I could have just taken nitrite, added oxygen, and gotten nitrate. But the fact of the matter is, I do have to be careful because when they say in basic conditions or in acidic conditions, it might end up changing this quite a bit. In this case, it doesn't change it at all because I see neither H plus is left over nor OH minus is left over. So there's nothing to worry about as far as whether it is under acidic or basic conditions because neither H plus or OH minus appears.